Hi there and welcome back. I've just received a couple requests of how to remove the coil off the plate of the points from Tecumseh engines. It's fairly simple to do and I'm going to show you how to do that. So here's an up close look of what it's going to look like. So on uh, most older Tecumsehs ranging from approximately 4 horsepower to 8 horsepower you may find the coil on the point plate assembly. Before Tecumseh went to electronic ignition, the coil would have been on this plate here with the points. The newer engines like this one, they don't have points and the coil is on the exterior of the flywheel. To remove the coil, you have to remove it from this metal plate here. So the coil will come off from the center here. First of all, what you have to do is to remove the pin here that is actually holding the coil to the metal bracket. Grab yourself a good flat screwdriver and just tilt the pin over. Just move it out of the way like this. Now what you need to do is to pull the coil off the bracket. Now sometimes uh, when stuff's old like this, it may be stiff in there. There could be a bit of rust that makes it harder to get the coil out. So again with a nice good flat screwdriver, insert it in between the coil. If you suspect the coil is finished, then you don't really need to worry if you damage it or make a few dents in it. But if you think the coil could still be good, then just go gently. So pry on one side, just by inserting the screwdriver in like that and twisting it. And then go from side to side. If you find that it's a bit stiff to do it in your hands, you can always put this part in a vise. Don't put the aluminum part of the bracket in the vise, just the metal part here. So now that the gap has gone pretty big for my screwdriver, I'm just going to use a wider tool in here and do the same thing, pry up. And there we go. You're going to notice when you go to remove the coil completely from the plate that there are two wires going from the coil. One of these wires goes to the points here which you have to remove this nut and also one wire is grounded to the plate underneath this little bolt here. So with an 1132 wrench just simply remove the nut at the points. One of these wires goes to the condenser and the other one to the coil. So I'll just simply remove the wire. Next we're going to remove this little nut here which is a quarter inch in diameter. Condenser is going to come off but also the wire that goes through the coil. So now we've got the coil completely removed. Next, I'll show you how to reinstall your coil. The OEM part number for this coil from Tecumseh is part number 30560A. What I've got here though is an aftermarket coil made by Stenz. This is what your new coil is going to look like. It looks the same as the other one even though it's an aftermarket. And it's got the hole in the center to put it back on the plate. Now since this video is for demonstration purposes only, I'm going to reinstall the old coil. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you the points in there. Check the points. You have to remove this clip here. Just like that. Now this cover is going to come off. And if you were to replace the points, you would remove the slotted head screw right there, which I'll show you. So completely remove this screw and the points will come out. So get that screw out and now you want to push up on the plastic here and the whole point assembly is going to come up. So it's going to come out in two pieces like that, that's how they're made. And then this just goes into a groove and pull up and it's removed. Here's what these points look like, they don't look too good. I'm just going to sand them with a 400 grit emery sandpaper 
and if it's still no good I will replace them. So I'm going to reinstall the points and then we'll uh, get onto the coil. First you want to install the bottom part of the points in there. This uh, pin here is going to go in the groove down here. Now we're going to install the secondary part of the points. Put it on the shaft. Make sure that you've got the points on this side of the bottom part of the points. Then insert the plastic piece into the casing like that. Push down. And then reinsert the screw that goes here. This is actually the screw that you use to adjust your points once they're on the engine. So I'm just going to leave the screw snug, not overly tight, because I'm going to have to readjust the points once it's on the engine. I'll show you first before I do that how I sand the points. So I've got this uh, emery paper, it's a 400 grit. You open up the points, insert your paper and rub it like this, and repeat the process. You can see the dirt coming off onto the paper. Flip the paper over and start in the fresh area of the paper again. And just repeat the process. And you can do this till the points are nice and smooth and shiny. And usually that can fix a no spark problem. Now before you would reassemble this on your engine, you can put just a bit of grease on here, just to film. Don't put much because it can spatter, go into the points and cause problems. Next you would put the covers back on like this. And it's going to fit there in one spot. It goes like this. And go around and clip it over here. Now you're going to have to remove this again when you time the points on the engine. Now we're going to clean this off a bit here with sandpaper, just so our new coil goes in nice and smooth. I'm going to spray a bit of liquid wrench. Give it a quick wipe. It's going to make it nice and smooth. I'm going to reinstall my old coil because it is still good. And it's going to go like this. Always remember that the side of the wire here goes on the same side of the retaining clip on the plate. And now just push down. You can use a rubber mallet if you find it a bit difficult to put in. Next you want to grab this little clip here and clip it over the coil. And I'm going to do this with a pair of needle nose pliers. and make sure it's snug underneath the uh, little notch there. Next you want to route the wires behind the notch here just so they don't get caught in the crankshaft. Next we're going to reinstall the condenser but first grab the condenser bolt, insert it into the ground wire from the coil, the very first thing, and then into the condenser. And you want the wire from the coil to be behind this plate on the condenser and insert it into the hole. And now we're going to tighten it up. Don't over tighten this because you can easily strip the threads. Now we've got these two wires that are going to go to the points. And they're going to actually go between the clip and the plate. And then put the nut back on. And that's good. Make sure that the wires are not going to catch on the flywheel when you put this back on. I'll put a link to some of my previous videos. You're going to find how to take off the flywheel off these engines and access this part here as well. Remember if you remove this off the engine, maybe you can make a mark with a marker on this plate and on the engine so that when you go to put the plate back on, you know exactly where it goes because there's a bit of play here when it's actually bolted to the engine so it'll save you a lot of time. 